morning and welcome welcome back to space engineers on the xbox on the series x on the space engineers automatons beta which ends march the second now they will probably patch it again and remove the automatons features the beta slash demo version of the game will still be playable of course what they may do is they may just stop taking feedback and leave the features enabled we don't know yet just to warn you though you may lose access to the automatons features themselves keen will then focus solely on the retail version of space engineers and get this update to us as soon as they can it's very exciting times and without further ado welcome to my tutorial on automated cargo pick up and drop off and it's simpler than it's ever been if you remember any of my previous tutorials before automatons it was it was timer blocks and the remote control block and a lot of faffing about and this on the other hand is or should be a lot easier so what do you need well you need your drone now i've got one here and you need some form of controlling your drone i suggest slapping a helm block anywhere on it but specifically making sure that you've got it in the flight direction makes it easier then what you will need on this drone are two ai task blocks and a flight block place them over the top of the connector that you're going to use as your connector for your cargo now you can see how to place these blocks because they have a whacking great f on the front and rear panel written on the back and left and right on the sides on all of those orientation blocks this is to let the drone know or the ai know which direction you're flying in next you want to go into your control panel and on your flight move block you want to turn off collision avoidance for now and precision mode if you're following along with my tutorial you also want to make sure that your <clears throat> max pitch angle and your max roll angle are zero as well with this particular kind of drone now you then want to pilot your drone on the helm and this is why i suggested doing this and you want to make sure that you add using your directional pad and i've shown you how to do this before by holding down the d-pad and selecting the block and the action you want in this case i have the task recorder load play on off and unload play on off i've renamed the blocks so that i know what they are then we have the flight ai on off and we want that on so we can actually turn that on at this point in time although it will probably turn off again we shall see we bring our drone over the top of our first happy cargo box and we lock the connector down now from this point on, we're going to add another control onto the D-pad because we're going to be using this to help us position our drone. So first things first, left stick in, B button, second page. I always like to do this on the down direction. We go to our load not unload but load and we select from the list on the drop down menu <clears throat> add waypoint we're also going to put our drone connector onto switch lock as well so we can do this easy we are going to not bother with the recording feature of our um, ai recording block we don't need it not for this because this uses only four waypoints two at load two at unload so to begin with unlock and what you want to do is just boost up a bit and you want to set your first waypoint here 
and then you want to boost back down slowly 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 until we're on the connector and then just boost down again and tap the button again that is your load waypoints set we don't lock the connector and if we want to test it we fly off we come away and we stop the drone where it is we go into the control panel into our load task block and we come down all the way to waypoint one and at waypoint one press a pull the left stick down until you reach set up action choose the drones connector and tell it to lock now if this has worked correctly and i did demo this earlier tested it out etc and i've got my working one far in the distance on the ice field which you saw last time all we need to do is load clay on off making sure that our flight block is on on the left on the d-pad the ai for the flight is on so now our autopilot will take over and will move us to our first approach waypoint orientate the drone takes its time it has to work it out to begin with because it's no long, it's not actually on the drone waypoint and it will come down and it will lock the connector that is your load waypoint done next thing move on to the third page of the d-pad so left stick in b button up on the d-pad boom tall drone connector switch lock down on the d-pad ai recorded task unload and yep add waypoint now we unlock and you notice we can't fly this is because we need to go all the way back to the first page and turn off the ai control now we have control of the drone again so we're just going to scoot over to our unload and we're going to do a landing and you can put more than one waypoint down i mean i'm just using the two um you could put two or three if you wanted a more complex approach path every time you tap down on the d-pad you will record a waypoint so we are on our connector so we'll just lock it to stabilize the drone and then we'll go into our second page and now our third make sure you're on the third page not the second so hold the direction look at the name it is task unload that's what we want and now what we want here is to unlock and boost up and boost up and boost up and we'll go for a little higher waypoint here and we'll record by tapping down on the d-pad and then we'll come down again and again and again by pressing the B button on the controller until we get closer and closer. Just tap it gently as you get closer and closer to your landing point. And then just let it gently settle on the connector. Hold down the B button thrust, tap down on the D-pad, launch off again. And go back into the control panel and this time you want to look at your unloads and ignore any warnings that you've got don't worry about that at the moment waypoint one down on the left stick set up action lock the drone connector and those are the four waypoints which you now have set what you can do as well um, is you can go into the ai recorders and you can skip down here until you reach show path on hood show selected points if you want to see where the waypoints are but then what you'll need to do is also drop the function show ai functions on your uh, info so we now have two sets of waypoints and complete control 
of our panel. So switch back to our first panel where we have our AI on. Now remember, down on the D-pad is loading and right on the D-pad is unloading. So if we go and tell it to load, it will scoot over to our loading waypoints nice and slowly because we don't want it going too fast on this demo. You can put the speed up on the flight controller to maximum if you so desire. It will come down and settle and lock. And then leaving the AI on, unlock it and tell it to go and unload. And it will now go and fly over here. Reach its designated waypoints. Come down over the connector. And if you have any problems getting it to land on the connector and lock properly, just re-record the waypoints and make sure you're as accurate as possible. Um, you can turn precision mode on, but I don't recommend it for a short trip like this one, really. Okay, so we're getting there. Turn off our flight AI, turn on our connector, switch lock, and let's go back over here. What I remember that I can do as well is I don't need to fly this thing at all. I can let the AI do it for me. Part two coming up now. I was going to break this into two videos, but with the beta um, March the 2nd ending in terms of uh, the automaton side of things, I wanted to put this all in one for you because it really is that simple now compared to the convoluted methods of the past. We are now locked down and we are going to make this drone do what we want automatically. How do we do that? Well, first of all, we come off the drone and we're going to need two blocks. And this is where the brand new event controller comes in. So you'll find it under advanced systems next to the programmable block. Push up on the D-pad if you don't want to select it like I am doing here and rotate it and place one and then come across to the opposite side here place your second these don't have to be orientated anyway whatsoever they are just to block the controls functions based on if then criteria okay boom control panel into the control panel we go event controller event controller 2 so event controller we're going to rename to event controller load and event controller 2 we are going to rename to event controller unload and now to our load we are going to select cargo fill percent equal or greater than 100 we're going to come down to the list of blocks and we're looking for our actual drones cargo container and it'll be in white because it's not a subgrid it's the main grid with that selected with a pull down on the stick not the d-pad and tap a again on add blocks this now tells our event controller what block we're going to be using to trigger an event from Go to select actions and now we need to do two things we need to first of all unlock our drone connector and then tap the right trigger because event controllers like terminal blocks have nine toolbars this means you can do nine sets of event one and we're only concerned about event one all we concerned about at the moment is if this cargo box is full do thing so we're going to unlock the connector if it's full and we're going to trigger 
our unload flight path play on off. Now, this won't work as it is because one, there's no cargo in the cargo box below us. And two, we have a saucer to allow us to load this drone. So go into here and we go into the conveyor saucer and we're going to go drain all and we're going to whitelist and we're going to use ice for our experiment. And we're just going to add that to the whitelist. This means that this cargo will now fill using the conveyor sorter anything attached via the connector with a cargo box. Basically. And so let's see what we're doing. Yep, that's all set correctly. So if I put ice in here you should start to see it drain and as it drains it will fill the medium cargo container on board the drone and if i've set everything up correctly and look where it goes off it goes into the wild blue yonder space engineers our drone will now go over here to cling away on its own quite happily take our cargo our ice to our drop off point which could be a base with a hydrogen generator an oxygen generator attached and it will lock down on the connector second event controller comes in here and you can probably guess what we're going to do we're going to go in here and this time we're going to choose unload we're going to go <clears throat> equal or less than 0%. We're going to add our medium cargo container. And we're going to select the action. The same deal with slot one. Toolbar one, unlock our connector. Up right trigger, pick toolbar two. Load. Play on off. Again, nothing will happen until we change our conveyor sorter. So once again, it's conveyor sorter two. This time we will whitelist once more ice. Then we will tell our box to drain all. Ice is being unloaded. Once our medium cargo container is empty, our drone, thanks to the event controller, detects that it's empty. And it comes scooting back across to our next point. Bear in mind that there is still ice in this box. will fill the cargo container of the drone up again taking that ice away and moving it to our drop off point And it will continue to do this until there's no more ice in the cargo box at the load point. It will then just sit on that connector and idle. And of course, if you have a recharge point on that connector, in other words, if you've got reactors, turbines or anything feeding power to that connector, this drone will recharge any batteries it may have as it waits for its next level of ice. You can put a third event controller on and have a third point set up in the map with another 
path recorder with another two waypoints connected to a power system. And if the batteries on that drone drop below 10%, you can have it land on that, recharge until the batteries are at 100%, launch and play the load path, which will then send that drone back over onto the loader and it will continue to do that. And if it runs out of power, down to its critical percentage, it will go back and recharge. And it will keep on doing this, all thanks to three event controllers and, in total, six waypoints. That is the power of the automatons' features that are coming to Space Engineers. And this is just the tip of the AI iceberg that Marek, Rosa and the talented team of programmers and designers at Keen have done. This is great stuff, and it is changing the way Space Engineers plays. It puts into the hands of the player features that only the PC had access to with scripting. And anyone with just a little bit of time and two blocks and some AI blocks can make a drone like this to go and pick up and drop off cargo. That's what Automatons is all about. And this is just the beginning of the Automaton features for Space Engineers. There's a lot more to come. As I said at the start of this, the beta does end in terms of Automaton on March the 2nd. So get playing it now. Play around with it. Follow along on my tutorial. Build yourself a drone similar to this one. Build yourself any kind of drone that can move between point A and point B and set up a system like this and see just how easy it is now to make between four waypoints and two event controllers a system that loads and unloads cargo automatically. And we're only using slot one on the event controllers. We could trigger a second action that happens when the cargo box is not empty or when it's not doing this. But we don't need to. We only need those actions that we're using here. Anyway, that is my double tutorial on how to set up the waypoints and how to set up an auto cargo drone to take your beloved ice from A to B. There's a lot more to come from me. Um, obviously, after March the 2nd, I won't be doing any automatons beta stuff unless the features are still enabled, in which case then I'll be playing around with it some more. If they do disable the features, this means they will concentrate totally on the retail of Space Engineers. And that's what we want. We want all of this stuff into the retail. And that's all I've got time for, though. So stay safe, take care, have fun, enjoy the game, play around with this stuff. Don't worry if it crashes and burns, just auto save or rather quick save it try again and keep on plugging at it once you click with this stuff it gets easier and easier that's me though bye for now <laughs>